So what's up everybody, welcome to another video on my channel. Today, I am back again with the FMC uh, tutorial kind of thing. Well, today, this video is all about my NR single. Not actually all of it, because I'm, I'm just going to go through all of my uh, solves in the competition rig special that happened two weeks ago. And if you have, yeah, I got an NR single and I could, could have also gotten the NR average mean of 3, but I messed up and that happens in life. So today I'm just going to go through both of my solves, the, the first solve in which I got 34 moves and the second one that I kind of sadly lost my scratch paper, I got the NR single of 31 moves. So let's, I, let's guess, I guess let's just get right into it. So. This right here, as you can see, this is the first solve and this is my scratch paper. Also, I am using the new camera I bought uh, and it has autofocus. So that is amazing feature because that is what I, that is just what I need. Okay, let's just get right into it. So this right here is the first scramble and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to scramble it. So I'm going to go through my my thoughts of this scramble. The first thing I, I saw, so I saw that this was quite an interesting cross, but yeah, I don't do cross because cross kind of sucks. I could have done, like I could have could have pair up these and just insert it to make the two by two block. But yeah, the, yeah, I couldn't find anything decent afterwards. So I actually looked for a good continuation for actually yeah so i basically checked every possible uh, two by two by two block every possible block in the scramble and i couldn't find a decent continuation so here here we can see that i actually found two uh, different two by two blocks and what i actually did is i found a two by two block in the inverse of the scramble so this right here is the inverse scramble and what I did is I did basically I paired up these two and paired this little two by two by one block and made the two by two block like right right here. And afterwards, what what was really cool was that I could just yeah I I basically pair, took this pair out and paired up with this edge and basically that's an easy three by three by two blocking 10 moves but since i couldn't find any good continuation right here i randomly did a b prime and then did the r and we can see that right here that i could have done the d the r the b prime and the b2 and all yeah the best one from these three was the, the second one and because right here what you can see is we can insert this block with this edge by doing this f prime u2 f and then we can just do this f12 pair head right into the oil and a j prime yeah but i that was 38 moves so i didn't actually go for it because i found a cooler uh, continuation using this this technique so i'm just going to show you so i switched to this right here after I built the F2L and basically, I, yeah, I, I'm not going to go through how to do NIST and inverse scrambles in this video because that is way too hard. And uh, so when we go into the NIST in uh, this regular scramble from the inverse, we see that we have a th this block right here. So what can we actually do? What I did is I afterwards did a d2 and then solved this right here so we have an easy three move insertion and after we insert that block we get the same zbll would you guess that this is the zbll i basically have used in two fmc solves so yeah it's it's the easy cll where we have two corners right here so we break up this part connect them right here, insert them, and we get a skip. So 
yeah, that is how I solved the cube. Here is where the coolest uh, part of the NIS comes into the play. So this is the scramble. Uh, this is the solution I meant. And when I switch to NIS right here, I switch to NIS. Uh, wait, not right there. Okay, so right here I switched the NIS from inverse to regular. So we can see that these two basically um, cancel. And these two Bs, one of them cancels into a B2. So that also cancels three moves from the total. And from 37 moves, I got 34. So that is, that was pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, so this right here is the this, this third scramble. And in the second scramble, I couldn't find nothing. I basically rage quit at like 55 minutes because I, I just couldn't find anything decent after the like 15, no, I think 17 move F2L well, minus one. So it was kind of sad to see my NR average go. Uh, okay, so in the third scramble, I came to the scramble uh, with the mindset of just yellowing it, just trying to get a good single because I was determined to get the NR that day and uh, this is what happened okay sorry so first what I did is I didn't do anything with this I did a b2 that connected this f2l pair then I brought this piece right here and did an r prime just to bring this one here I could have done this but before doing it and the r prime I connected this red blue piece to, to here then I did the R prime and then I did the U prime to make the two by two block and uh, Okay, so this is what I did to make the three by three a uh, block in like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven moves I think so I did the L prime uh, Basically, I, I am I brought this out of the way connected this like that and placed it in the place <laughs> Placed it in the place so that, that this took like 11 moves if I'm not mistaken. So Yeah afterwards here is where things kind of Hyped me up a lot because in like four or five moves. I had so many pairs so many blocks that I could work with and Yeah, so I connected this f2l pair brought it out of the way also connected these two edges it was kind of random and afterwards I did an L prime to connect this F2L pair with this edge just to make this cool little block. Uh, then what I, I brought it out of the way with the D2. Uh, then I placed that back right there. So now we are left with 2x2 two two block and the 3x3x2 three by three by block right here. And I basically uh, searched through all of the possible continuations and what I found the best is also by doing an F I connected this huge 2x1x3 two by, two by by block and what could I have done afterwards is I did a D2 to connect it right here so now we are left with a F12-1 on the orange side Three and F2L minus one on the blue side. So now I have to solve this whole line and it was kind of easy because I basically solved all the edges. So Watch so I could have solved all the edges by doing a R, R and then I just could have done a hedge slammer by doing F R prime F prime R so all the edges are solved and three Three corners remaining then I also could have done an F and did done a hedge a sl sledgehammer R prime F R F prime no wait excuse me oh yeah so F prime and then sledgehammered this to solve all the edges and three corners remaining I was super hyped when I saw this because to this point I've done like hmm so till this point I've done it, this in 18 moves. So yeah, I was ver very very hyped because I needed to solve the cube in like how many moves? I'd say 15 moves. Yeah, if I can solve the, this cube in 15 moves then I'll tie the NR. 
So what I ended up doing is I did an R, sold all the edges with a sledgehammer, and then I did an R prime. But I actually didn't didn't need to do the R prime because if we can just if you know commutators or basically yeah this is a commutator so I put this corner right here by doing a normal insertion and by placing this corner right here I just need to do it like that and the cube solved so I actually cancelled two moves right there I, I'm going to quickly go back to it okay so yeah I did an R solved all the edges and I can right now do the commutator by putting this corner right here and then putting this corner right here and the cube is solved in 31 moves so I basically tied the NR right now uh, my friend who was sitting next to me he was cringing so hard all the time because he knows how to cancel moves with insertions and basically if I knew how to cancel moves with insertions I could have gotten a sub 30 maybe but sadly I, I didn't learn how to do ins uh, cancellations with the insertions so I tied, tied the NR single okay I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying the camera because I freaking love it sadly I uh, couldn't get a tripod because this Saturday is a competition, I ha I don't have a tripod, so it's all sad and stuff. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this quick little walkthrough uh, of FMC, and I will see you all next time.